Hi and hello everyone, this is Ravindra Babu. Welcome back to my channel Silver 90s Biolite. In the last video, we discussed Mieselson and Stahl's experiment, which is a quantitative experimental proof for a semi conservative model of DNA replication. And it was proved in a prokaryotic organism that is E. coli bacteria. Likewise, Mieselson and Stahl, there were some scientists who worked on the same context and who provided the same experimental proof for semi-conservative model of DNA replication, but uh, in different uh, organisms. In this part of videos of molecular basis of inheritance, we are going to discuss those experimental works done by different scientists to prove DNA is undergoing a semi-conservative model of DNA replication. One of such among those experimental works was J. H. Taylor's experiment. Immediately in the year 1958 itself after Mieselson and Stahl, J. H. Taylor and his uh, group uh, provided a qualitative experimental proof for a semi-conservative model of DNA replication. What they provide? Remember this. They provided qualitative, qualitative experimental proof for a semi-conservative model of DNA replication. Remember this. Mieselson and Stahl's work is a quantitative experimental proof. J. H. Taylor's work is a qualitative experimental proof for semi-conservative model of DNA replication. In this experiment, they worked on, they worked on eukaryotes, eukaryotes. Especially, they worked on plants. The plant name is Visia faba. Visia faba. They took uh, cells of Visia faba and uh, conducted the experiment. And for this experiment, they use they use radioactive thymidine. Radioactive thymidine. Simply, we can represent this radioactive thymidine like this, and also use X-ray films and uh, auto radiography, auto radiography techniques to detect the radioactivity of radioactive thymidine. In their experiment, just by observing the distribution of radioactivity among the generations of Vicia faba cells, they came to know that the DNA is undergoing a semi-conservative model of replication. The experimental procedure for the J. H. Taylor's experiment is almost uh, similar to the experimental procedure of Mieselson and uh, Stahl's experiment. Here, let me compare the experimental procedure of Mieselson and Stahl's experiment and uh, J. H. Taylor's experiment. Thereby, you will come to know the similarities and the differences between these two experimental procedures. Actually, this is the experimental procedure of Mieselson and Stahl's experiment. In their experiment, first they prepared N15 medium and on this N15 medium, they grow the E. coli cells of N14 DNA for several generations so that they made all the E. coli cells to have N15 DNA. Likewise, J. H. Taylor also prepared a medium containing radioactive thymidine. On this radioactive thymidine containing medium, they grow the Visia faba cells. What they grow? They grow cells of a plant Visia faba for several generations so that they made all the cells of Visia faba to have radioactive thymidine DNA. Radioactive thymidine DNA. What? The cells of Visia faba are having radioactive thymidine DNA. In the next step, uh, Mieselson and Stahl, 
they allow this e coli cells of n15 dna to grow on n14 medium for further generations in the same manner jh taylor and his group also allowed this cells of isia faba having radioactive thymidine dna to grow on a normal medium here normal medium means a medium without any radioactivity for further generations later in the first generation of e coli cells misson and stall found that 100% of the e coli cells are having hybrid dna where each e coli cell is having a parental dna strand that is n15 strand and a newly synthesized strand that is n14 strand as the cells are grown on n14 medium likewise jh taylor and his group also found that 100% of the e coli cells in first generation are showing radioactivity where each e coli cell is having a radioactive strand which consists a radio labeled thymidine as a parental strand and a newly synthesized strand as a normal strand why because the cells are grown on a normal medium as the generations proceeds from first generation to last generation misson and stall found that there is a decrease in a parental dna content there is a decrease in hybrid dna content or there is a decrease in n15 dna content so based on that they have given they have provided a quantitative experimental proof for semi conservative model of dna replication likewise jh taylor and his group also found that there is a gradual decrease in the intensity of radioactivity as the generations proceeds from first generation to last generation so that they provided a qualitative experimental proof for semi conservative model of dna replication because the experiment is based on the decrease in the intensity of radioactivity that is a thing now let us come to differences between the experiments of misson and stall and uh, jh taylor misson and uh, stall's experiment and this is jh taylor's uh, experiment misson and stall worked on a prokaryote what is that prokaryote the prokaryote is e coli bacteria but here jh taylor worked on a eukaryote the eukaryote is a plant why what is that plant the plant is visia faba and for this experiment misson and stall used a n15 heavy isotope and here they use radioactive thymidine and for this experiment misson and stall used a centrifugation centrifugation but here jh and taylor and his group used x-ray films and uh, auto radiography to detect the distribution of radioactivity in further generations of isia faba cells radio graphy radio graphy that is and here in their experiment first uh, they prepared n15 medium uh, followed by n14 medium but here what they prepared they prepared a medium of radioactive thymidine followed by a normal medium without radioactivity and here in first generation the n15 strand of e coli cells is considered to be as parental dna the parental dna is also considered to be as hybrid because a parental dna strand is a part of hybrid dna and here the parental dna is what a dna strand having radioactive thymidine is a parental strand here parental strand and this experiment is a quantitative experimental proof quantitative 
experimental properties why because this experiment is based on the content of parental dna which is decreasing from first generation to last generation so as the generations proceeds the parental dna content or n15 dna content or the hybrid dna content gets a uh, decreases so that it is a quantitative experimental proof and jh taylor's experiment is a qualitative experimental proof qualitative experimental proof because this experiment is based on the decrease in intensity of radioactivity as the generations proceed and lastly j keynes j keynes was a scientist who developed a technique for visualization of semi conservative model of dna replication of e coli cell by using microscopy and uh, auto radiography okay this is about the experimental proof for semi conservative model of dna replication in both prokaryotes and uh, eukaryotes in the next video we are going to discuss the, the detailed mechanism of dna replication in both prokaryotes and uh, eukaryotes keep watching and support my channel thank you